Uh, dance to me is everything. It's all I've known my whole life. It helps keep me grounded with life. I get to be whoever I want to be. It's a form of body motion. It's a form of love given to yourself and to other people. It was a language uh, for me that um, I was able to discover and dive into that allowed me to really just explore the different avenues of my creativity and myself as a man. Loyalty. The biggest challenge that I've faced in this dance industry is loyalty. It's the industry, so it's constantly being judged. You're constantly being critiqued on um, everything. People forget that we are one human beings. The fact that yes, we are artists, but we're still human beings. And that we also have lives that we live. What challenge haven't I faced in the dance industry? <laughs> um, um, I've faced so many challenges in the dance industry. Um, I think the biggest one for me is colorism. Uh, as a brown skinned man, very proud brown skinned man, a lot of times uh, you get overlooked for the more exotic or lighter skinned guy and he may not be the best. She may not be the best. There's so many levels to um, the unfortunate part that's going on with um, the rates for dancers. We have not understood how, how much we are important to the artists, to the industry, and to ourselves to take a new stand for the rates that should be valued at this time. Um, you set me up just now for that. Uh, that's a great question though. We as professional dancers most of the time do not get residuals for some of the jobs that we're on then I have to fight for per diem to argue that what's, how did, you're taking me out of the state, you're taking me on the road. We live in New York City, you're telling me that as a professional dancer and all the work and time that I put in that I'm only worth $30,000 a year and that $30,000 that people who are making that, that is a small window of people. I think the next step for dancers to fight for fair rates is we have to see our value. A lot of times dancers are willing to just take any job to say that they did a job. Unity is the most important thing, is coming together and really like working for the bigger picture. You have to start understanding that so many uh, people who've come before you want to help you out. Talk about an experience of negotiating for fair rates with them. <laughs> Which label should we start? So when we got to the management, we hit them with the rate, like this is what it is. So it's a constant like back and forth. We don't have the budget, we don't have this. So I'm like, so if you don't have the budget, why, why, why create the conversation? We just, we, we went through all this, right? So it was just like, okay, meet me at a place where it, it works. At the time, you know, I took the L, but after that, um, I was like, okay, I'm doing this one job and you know, you like me, you want to use me for future jobs, you have to pay me what I deserve. And that's exactly what happened. She loved my energy, she loved um, my work ethic, she liked a lot of things about me, and after that, she paid me what I needed to get paid, and everything was just by the books. We had a situation that we asked for a certain rate to be paid, um, went on tour, we did several shows, and then maybe the fifth show, we didn't get paid our check. We had to pretty much not go on stage with her one night. And finally, it seemed like out of the blue, maybe about a half an hour into the set, all of a sudden our checks appeared. Because I had been working for a while, um, I was the one who would stand up and kind of say, this is the right rate. I kind of got um, named in the camp as Money Keenan, the one who always wanted money. That also makes it hard for dancers to have a voice because it always seems like right away we want money. No, we just want to be treated like everyone else. The longest you've personally waited to be paid for a dance industry? Whoa. <laughs> um, three months, four months, the top. Yeah, we like three months, literally, no joke, for a job. I was like, how did this happen? And then when the money came, it wasn't even the right money. <laughs> Mm, a year. And e eventually when we did get it, I didn't work for the artists anymore. What is one piece of advice you would give to an aspiring dancer? Be curious, have fun, right? Don't, don't, don't go with the flow, be the flow. Love what you do and do what you love. 
Don't get in this business so hard to make you hate the love for dancing. Really do your research, like know who you want to work for. Know if you want to work for a particular artist, who the choreographer is. Know the style, know the business. Know what, you know what I mean? Like just the logistics of everything. That way you don't rely on just your agent to do certain things for you. I would say you cannot forget why you started dancing. Hmm. I would just like to see dancers um, shine just a little bit more. I would like to see people like really pushing the bar in terms of their creativity and like not needing the dance industry's approval to like do what you want to do and really just like pushing your work. In the coming years, I would like to see more individuality in choreography. First and foremost, I would definitely like to see uh, the men stick up for the women more. I'd like women to understand, have more self-confidence. Um, it is okay to say no. It is okay to change your job. It is okay to change your mind. All right, we just, we got to wrap soon, so we just got one quick little extra add-on for you. Fair enough. My favorite three? Yeah. Uh, Kendrick Lamar at the Grammys. I cried on, I cried on stage for the first time in my life. <laughs> Janelle Monet, um, because that was the biggest moment for me. Um, I, shout out to my bro Jamel, killing the game right now. He gave me so much responsibility on that job. Like I, I pulled up, slam dunked that, and we brought home the win. And I have to say this project that I just recently shot um, with a group of friends, uh, it's called We Are. It's super fucking inspiring. Um, it's definitely my vision and it's definitely like hand in hand with what this interview is. Last year, October, I was assistant choreographer and dancer for Kelly Rowland in Australia. Um, that was a big deal for me because if you know me, you know I love Kelly Rowland. Two years ago, I did the VMAs with J-Lo. <sighs> that was great. My first job ever, <laughs> I booked a tour with Prince Royce. Uh, he's a Latin artist, huge, huge Latin artist. And, um, I got this booking from my agent. It was the first job I ever got, so I was like, word, I'm not gonna get dropped, hallelujah. Um, I didn't know who he was, and I honestly, at that point, didn't care. I was just happy to be working. Got to Puerto Rico, was in this arena with 13,000 people. I'm gonna shit my pants a little bit. Um, but that one job turned into a tour for about nine months, and that was amazing, because that was my first experience doing that. Jay-Z won. Uh, I'm very proud of Mariah Carey. I did not know how big it was to choreograph for Sting. My father had to tell me when I was on the set working with Sting who Sting was. My very first uh, one I would definitely say was working for Foxy Brown. My second was um, Salt and Pepper. And I would say them because it was the beautiful thing was seeing uh, three women who were changing the world in regards to um, what it meant to be strong, strong women, strong black women, um, and having a voice. My third would be hmm, me taking a step and creating my own company, um, having the courage to move outside of the industry and give other girls um, tools and wisdom to being able to grow and um, and also working for Alvin Ailey. I would say Chris Brown is one of my favorite. Um, Chris Brown, I did two tours with him and I would probably say just in general um, working with him was one of my top. My second would be On The Run, which was um, tour with uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce. The third one would be um, just recently last year I shot um, In the Heights movie and um, that to me is I grew up in Washington Heights I'm Dominican um, this is the first time I got to be a part of something that I really connect to like this is where I'm from this is who I am like this is my music these are my people